What's the deal, YouTube? It's your boy Next Gen Seven Twenty, and, and and I'm back with another video. I've never played with Alex before. I said they had some new characters with him and um, what do you call it, Gal? But I've never played with him a day in my life ever. So I I might make a new. I've never played with him ever in my life, ever, ever. I don't, and I. Uh, I'm more of a Ryu Ken Chung Lee. Oh. Okay, I can see why people are used to me strong. But anyway, let me pause this here. Let me pause this here. I haven't played the game in a long time. It's a pretty game. Pretty game. Anyway, before I start today's video, um, you guys swing by and check out the website. It's beautiful. Shout out to my brother Jay Williams who helped us with the site. Um, BGST.podcast.com. Join the forums. Uh, it's called The Stable. Shits and giggles. Um, try to make that thing bigger than NeoGav. Thank you. Check out the merchandise. We have some really cool t-shirts, um, skins, posters. I just need to thank you again from the bottom of my heart for supporting uh, Big Game of Small Talk. I have never thought in a million years it would take off the way it did. Trust me. So, you know what I mean? Uh, but also, too, um, check out Xbox Beast Fire. If you like BGST, you love Beast Fire. It's two different type of shows, though. You know what I mean? You know, two different type of shows, but also very entertaining. And I have something new. I was gonna name it. Oh, not I. We. Uh, we don't play names. Play games. Podcast. No, it's the multiplayer podcast. Short, simple, and sweet. Also, check that out, which is totally different from Xbox Beast Fire. Me, uh, Madonna and Saigon. So many they, they, the people that've been around the community for a long time. Uh, Porter Rock, um, my man all day, uh, T Sweaty Balls Reaper, um, and it's one or two other people. Mix, still mentioning the matching, trying to get the chemistry down pat, but check it out also. So, anyway, on to today's video. And before oh, I said before I start, I told you about this movie about several weeks ago. I showed you one of my videos. I just got around to watching it last night. My God, my God. And it's a true story. Johnny Depp did his thing on this movie right here. It's off the fucking hook. I get that two controllers up and the grandmother's titties down. Say, like, nah, this is a, a dope movie, man. Black Mass, awesome. You know what I mean? But so anyway, on to today's video. And I am pissed off. Why am I pissed off? Because we're not getting a Quantum Break 2. Why, we are, why aren't we getting a Quantum Break 2? Because you motherfucking Xbox... Didn't go out and support Wild and Break. This game has yet to sell 200,000 copies at retail. The game came out in April, ladies and gentlemen. It is now in June. This game has not sold 200,000 copies at retail, physically at retail. That's a damn shame. What's even worse about that? And what's even worse, you know what I mean? Like I said, this is a really... Because people... Well, you guys like to pop shit and say, you know, I'm tired of the Call of Duties. I'm tired of the Assassin's Creed. You know what I mean? But it's all you motherfuckers buy. I'm tired of Madden, I'm tired of 2K, but that's all you guys buy. When you get a, a brand new fresh IP, you don't go out and support, you know what I mean? So not even that, which makes it even worse, this fucked up you Xbox dudes. We, same thing we used to tease, you know, Sony guys about not having, you know, they like to brag about their exclusive, but don't buy them. You motherfuckers the same way, man. But what's really sad about this, because they're working on two new IPs, they said, which is not... Alan Wake, and it's not Quantum Break. It's not Alan Wake 2, nor would it be Quantum Break 2, but they're not even partnered with Microsoft. So their next game will be Multiplat. So Xbox guys, you may have lost two potential exclusives. Now they're going over to the Sony. Maybe the Sony guys are showing some love. You know what I mean? But um, also, too, check it out. Where you at? Hold up, hold up. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Oh, you Sony guys, you're not off the hook either. The creators from Until Dawn, they're looking to go multi-plat also. Because you ponies didn't support. So they're looking for their next game, the next time it'll be multi-plat. This wasn't that good of a game, though. But, you know, you guys didn't support. You guys got to support. You have to support your platform. You know what I mean? Because before you know it, there's not going to be no more exclusives. Everything's going to be multi-plat, man. You know what I mean? Like, real talk. Like, you like to, you know, we want something. We're tired of the same old game. Give us something new and fresh. And when something new and fresh comes out... You guys don't buy it. Like, that's, like, I, I never, like, that's crazy as hell. When something new and fresh comes out, you guys don't buy it. 
Anyway, on to today's video. What I really want to talk about. Uh, maybe now you guys are starting to believe me. You guys can see me here. Um, I what well, even on BGST, well, well, of course, you know what I mean. People still can not give credit where credit's to. You know, I was the first guy. And I'm gonna say this again because some people were saying I wasn't. I was the first guy on the internet talking about newer consoles. Period. Before Kotaku, before Polygon, before Eurogame, before any of these fucking channels on YouTube. I was the first guy. Now, with that being said, I remember Mook said something to the fact that Sony's not going to have anything to take advantage of the Neo mode. And I told him no, because according to what I read, every game that's going to release on the PlayStation 4, or if you want your game to pass certification on the PlayStation 4, you have to support Neo mode. So you have a plethora of multiplayer that are coming out this holiday season, and they're all going to support Neo mode. And that's why I told you Sony is so full of shit. So their excuse for them not showing the PlayStation 4 Neo at E3 is that they don't have anything to, to show, the, you know, that's going to take advantage of the hardware. They don't have anything to show the hardware on, which is bullshit. You know what I mean? You got Sony didn't have anything to show on the hardware for the E3 2005 for the PlayStation 3. You know, I mean, they went out and showed a bunch of fake shit. But no, but not even so much that. I told you guys that going forward, any game that's being showed for us the PlayStation 4, will be running in Neo mode. If you don't believe me, look at Horizon Zero Dawn. See that game? Think about it. Scratch your head. I was in the, like I said, if you guys could have been a fly on the wall in the conversation I was having the other day on Skype with some really influential guys within the gaming industry, you know what I mean? I was just a fly on the wall, just happy to be there. Say, like, I don't look at those guys as celebrities, but, um, you know, look at it like this. When Microsoft and with Sony... When they show you Battlefield, when they show you Call of Duty, it's the PC version, right? Even so, when Sony was just showing the trailer for, uh, what's the new character? Capcom was just showing the, showing the trailer for the new character for Street Fighter, right? And um, we saw a little mouse pop up in the thing. It was the PC version because the developers are going to show you the best looking version. So it's not really cheating, you know what I mean? But we just saw Horizon Zero Dawn. Beautiful game. The game looks gorgeous. Now, you think your $350 console can achieve those type of graphics? Like, just being real. You know what I mean? Like, you have, you, we have the play, we've had this PlayStation 4 in our home since 2013. Do you think your PS4 can achieve those type of visuals? It's keeping it funky. It can't. So, with that being said, going forward, though, you know what I mean? Uh, like I told you guys before, no one, again, believe me. How are they going to get people? Not even, so some people, I guess, are now more warm enough to the fact of these new consoles. But I told you. Going forward, there's much, so everything that's being shown for on Sony's side, especially the exclusives, will be running in Neo mode. Now, if the first game that Sony's you know been touting has been showing is the trailer for Horizon, Horizon, I'm sorry, Zero Dawn, and that, my friends, was running in Neo mode. You know, what I mean, the game should look like that. You know, once you get it home in your quote unquote your PlayStation 4 Neo, beautiful, beautiful. Did you see that? Now, here's the thing. I hope the game is fun. That's the most important thing, I guess. Um, because Guerrilla Games has a track record, like, just like Crytek, of, of making very pretty games, but, you know, like Crisis and all the shit, but the games to me are just aren't fun. Uh, Killzone, pretty game. Game's not fun. You know what I mean? So, um, I hope Horizon Zero Dawn doesn't meet that same fate, but anyway, that's Horizon Zero Dawn. That was running in, quote-unquote, on the PlayStation 4 Neo. Gorgeous. Can't wait, right? You excited? Get the juices for them, but it's a little, it's messed up. Like I said, Sony's not even bringing the PlayStation 4 Neo to E3. I wonder what's the real reason. You know what I mean? You think they reps the chin scrambling their specs? But in, even if they were, because they already announced the thing. Even if they were, they could have just came out and still showed the console. But like I said, these developers have had these dead kits for a while. You know what I mean? Every game coming from October going forward will support Neo mode if you want your game to pass a certification on the PlayStation 4 from Sony. You know what I mean? That's according to what I read a few months ago. You know, I was telling you guys, telling you guys. It was just one guy up in, in the comment section. I don't believe the Neo or the Scorpio is real. I need proof. Like, what the, like, what the, like, sometimes we wonder, how you say, hold up and YouTube slap the shit out of some of you guys? And like, some of you motherfuckers don't make no sense. They was coming up this motherfucker make a bunch of fucking dumbass fabricating not half truths. Like I told you guys then, Slims are not new consoles. 
They're not. And all of a sudden, yeah, they're, 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 they're working on a slim. Who the fuck said they was working on a slim? Like, mm, I'm going to choke some of you motherfuckers, man. Uh, some of my people within the industry said I have the patience of a saint. I said, <laughs> I don't know, man. But um, going forward, you know, I just hope. Now, and again, I'm not saying I'm, I'm trying to be some industry insider or guru. I just hope going forward, if I say something, you know, from a very valuable source, you know what I mean? Yeah, motherfuckers, maybe now we'll start, you know, to believe. Probably motherfuckers, I just guess it's just human nature, man. Like, you know, I guess the the mindset of, of a quote-unquote us console gamers can, oh, man, we get a new console three months and three years? Oh, my God, this motherfucker is only $400. You act like this console costs five grand. Like, that ain't shit. Take, trade them old one in, put the difference, and get the new one. It's going to be both backwards, forward, and backwards and compatible. What's the big deal? You know what I mean? You know, it's not a big deal to me. But maybe some people, you know, of them are getting the better, you know, visual. That's not that important. And they keep what they got. But you've seen Horizon Zero Dawn. That's in Neo mode. The goddamn game is gorgeous. I can't wait to see God of War in Neo mode. Well, when they show it, it's, you know, whatever they show, um, the Neo is going to be there without it being there. Just trust me. Believe. So whatever, they, if they do show something from, you know, God of War, that will also be running in Neo mode. Uh, but anyway, this is your boy Next Gen 720. Let me know if you think in the comment section below. What do you think about Horizon Zero Dawn? You still don't believe me? Trust me. Just, just trust me. That's running in Neo mode. How do I know this? Say a little birdie told me so. And just use this here, your common sense. You've seen the trailer. That far exceeds the capabilities of the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox. I'm just being real. Right. Fact. But anyway, I'm out of here, man. Bang, bang.